Now at 10, for the first time, we are seeing the man who was shot and killed at a funeral for another family member over the weekend. And his accused killer is his own great aunt. 67-year-old Queen Smith Jackson is accused of shooting 22-year-old Eric Hubert. Police say she told them it was accidental and she was only trying to break up a fight. However, some family members are disputing that tonight. ABC 13 reporter Daniela Hurtado is live from the jail tonight where that woman is. Daniela? A woman who tells us they didn't want to show their face in fear of retaliation. They tell us rather they believe Jackson should be facing stronger charges in connection to the shooting death of 22 year old Eric Hubert, who many knew and loved by his nickname, Nooney. He wasn't a throwaway. He was a lovable person, stood out of trouble, stood out of the way. He said he never wanted to be around negative things. He did everything right. Nooney, identified as the man who lost his life over the weekend, was at his grandfather's funeral mourning his death when he lost his own life. It's clear we have a family fighting, one person shot on the ground. Queen Smith Jackson, the victim's great aunt, is accused of pulling the trigger that ultimately killed the 22-year-old. Court records reveal Jackson told police she pulled out a gun to shoot it in the air to stop a fight between her family members, but it didn't fire. Who brings a gun to a funeral? Who does that? Court documents detail Jackson told police she lowered the gun and pointed it away from her when the gun went off and hit Nooney. Some loved ones tell ABC 13 they feel it was intentional. Loved ones we spoke to say the disagreement started when Nooney told his uncle to stop being fake since he believed he was never there for his grandfather. They say the argument then escalated, Nooney unfortunately losing his life. He going to be missing. He impact a lot of lives. He truly going to be missed. Jackson's next hearing is set for June 5th. In Houston, Daniela Hurtado, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.